Dying Light 2 has 500 hours of content, or according to Techland, how long it would take to walk from Warsaw, Poland to the capital of Spain, Madrid. Hopefully this puts it into perspective how much content is going to be packed into this game, but I do think it's for the best to clarify a few little things. When they say there's 500 hours of content, that means completing the entire game, multiple times. So every quest, every interaction, and just everything you can do. You just have to remember the factor in all the branching story paths and playthroughs. Though I'm sure speedrunners will try to find a way to speed everything up, since, you know, they're called speedrunners for a reason. One quick important thing to make note of is that over the years they've stated it takes 20 hours to complete the main story, but also 100 hours to complete everything in the game. But the way that adds up to 500 hours is because of the multiple playthroughs that you'll have to be doing to get through all the story and all the endings and, you know, so on. There's been a large conversation for years around a lot of open world games being too large for their own good. Meaning they pack a ton of recycled unnecessary content to keep you playing, though in reality you're just doing the same thing over and over again. But I do want to hope it's different for Dying Light 2, as when you factor in each and every playthrough with all the different choices and consequences, which is a mechanic not a lot of games have, I can somewhat see that adding up to 500 hours, but I feel like we haven't really seen enough of the side content to really make me want to reassure that. When Techland posted this online, it really led to a lot of people confused and actually upset, because people think games just go on for too long sometimes, and I can understand that argument. We just really don't know what a lot of the content in the game is gonna be outside of the main story and side quest stuff. We just kinda have to wait it out and hope for the best. So, moving on to some other stuff, there's some really cool things that we learned in the past couple weeks. You can get 140 obtainable weapons, as well as 500 unique gear pieces to collect. And if each of these are divided into 6-piece gear sets like we've seen, then you'll have 83 gear sets that you can get. So, there's a really good variety here, and I'd love to see it, but feel free to let me know your thoughts as well. I did make a video a few months or so back that kind of goes over every weapon that's been revealed so far in order, so if you're interested to see what's been shown, then go check that out. So, with that, that's all there really is to speak about for now. If you appreciate the content and want to stay connected, then be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and stop by next time.